Welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewer's Comments. In this video, I will be addressing your comments, criticisms, compliments, questions. What energy you bring here, I will return to you with the maintenance of rule one, rule equal, the balance of the honor and the grace, and the possession of peace and neutrality. Keep in mind, no one is twisting your arm to be here, so keep that in mind. If you are going to make claims or if you are choosing to not read the terms and conditions of the comments field, well then you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Now, I don't ever take anything personally here. I recommend that you do the same. What I'm saying in this comments video is a critique based upon using the lens of correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar, i.e. quantum grammar, the wonderful technology brought to the public in 1988 by the late Colin David Ivan Colin Miller. Keep that in mind. Everything I say is pretty much through that lens. So with that in mind, let's get to it. Hello, folks, and welcome to this special Kuleana video and grammar lesson. This grammar lesson is going to focus on correct sentence structure communication, meaning how we convey our facts using the mathematical interface on grammar brought to the public by the late Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller in 1988, using the correct grammatical mechanics. This particular uh, series of comments comes from member Property Geek. And they were commenting on a video where there was interaction in the background between a dog, I guess, and a bird, a scarlet macaw. And so they begin by saying, for this claimant's knowledge of the birdie is with the fear of the dog with the sound of the bark by this claimant and witness hyphen view. And then they write the sentence again, but they write it backwards for this witness view and claimant of the bark with the sound of the dog is with the fear of the birdie by this claimant's knowledge. Uh, so my initial kuleana to that was, I see the word claimant in your sentence, but don't see a clear claim. Your positional sequencing is incorrect. Why are you barking? Are you making a claim for a birdie? In correct sentence structure, that would be an assumption presumption. Not only that, uh, I was just looking at this sentence because backwards, it's, I mean, look where the verb is. But anyways, we'll get into that. And then they attempted to correct it. And they said, for this claimant sensation of the video view is with the vision of the birdie jump and with the sound of the dog bark by this claimant. And then um, I said, uh, my previous audit stands. You have not corrected the mistakes. In addition to the additional mistakes that were made in this one. And then their final one is right here. Uh, for this claim is cognition of the correction is with the witness of the fear, with the conveyance of the birdie, with the jump, and by the cause of the dog bark by this claimant's view. So, folks, what I've done is taken all this, uh, his words, and put them into a Word document exactly as they were typed out here. So, let's take a look at these sentences. I have marked in red critical errors that throw the whole thing into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble, fraudulent conveyance of grammar. In yellow, I have highlighted simple mistakes that could be typos, but in this case, I don't think they are because he repeats them. So the first mistake is in claimants. There is no apostrophe there. Claimants is possessive. So you would need to use an apostrophe between the T and the S to show whose knowledge it is. And uh, it's not a typo because he repeats the same thing down here. For this claimant's knowledge of the birdie is with the fear of the dog with the sound of the bark by this claimant. So, oh, here's another one right here. Witness view. You would also need an apostrophe there. 
So perhaps this individual needs to study the use of the apostrophe um, and get closure on that. But we have the positional of preceding the positional by. In correct sentence structure, as I have said again and again and again, ad nauseum. The positional concatenation, the correct positional sequencing, as laid down by Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller, is for, of, verb, with, of, with, by. So you always have a possessive preceding the authority. Because when you read this backwards, and when he wrote it out, like, it would be for this claimant and witness view with the bark. Because, and I'm not sure what he was reading, if he just passed over it or what, but he keeps of the bark here, of the bark. Same thing as of the bark here. However, by this claimant and witness view becomes for this witness view and claimant. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know if they ignored it, didn't catch it, or what's going on. But it's always for of verb with by, or if you go into longer sentences, for of verb with of with by and that's the basics right there that's rudimentary i know this fellow has been viewing this channel for several years okay and this is just basic stuff the most critical error that this individual made was in writing the sentence backwards and putting the verb here why would they do that why would they put the verb there? Because after the verb follows three position lodial fact phrases, before the verb we have one, two, three, four position lodial fact phrases. As I said, folks, again and again, ad nauseum in dozens and dozens of videos, you must have only or at least two position lodial fact phrases in front of the verb because you need two points with which to draw a straight line for the facts of the facts verb for the jason hyphen matthew of the glass verb you see what i'm saying whether it's forwards or backwards two position lodial fact phrases for the of the verb bottom line and you can find at least two videos that I posted of Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller stating this these very mechanics in two different seminars. That is the most concerning and critical error that I see here. Alongside the the incorrect positional sequencing. But alright, let's let's move on to, to the first correction that they attempt. Then they say, for this claimant sensation, and again, it, this is not a typo, folks. They just don't, uh, evidently, do not have closure on the mechanics of the apostrophe. For this claimant sensation of the video view is, with the vision. Now, this could be a typo. This excessive spacing in between the and vision all right, and this comes down to being correct and precise about what you're doing, being as correct as possible. I guess it is what it is, but if it's important to you, you will get it as correct as you possibly can. And little mistakes like this, little typos would be caught by you when writing this out, by my estimation, you know. But I, I don't think, I think that that is something that another facet of this that people just don't have in their repertoire yet. They have to learn how to be precise as possible with laser-like precision. Because folks, I treat this grammar with honor. It's sacred to me. So everything that I write, I try to do as best as I can 100% of the time. When I'm writing a comment, very, very, very rarely will you find a mistake like this in anything I write because I go over it with a fine tooth comb two, three, four times. 
before I publish it. If I'm writing in plain, simple English, eh, I mean, I try to do it as best I can, all right, but I'm not nearly as careful as I am with this. And I've said that over and over again, and this guy's been here for a couple of years, so I don't think he has a position to say that he doesn't know that I ask that folks who do this do it to the very best of their ability. So they have with the vision of the birdie jump and with the sound of the dog bark. So here you have of, and then you have with. You have a conjunction here. What happens on the port side of the conjunction has to happen on the starboard side of the conjunction as it relates to positionals. So if you have of the, if you have of on the left side of the positional, then you have to have of on the right side of the positional. So it would be of the birdie jump and of the sound. That's how it would have to be because look what's happening here. You have of the, with the, and then you have of the. which is incorrect positional sequencing, not only because of that, but also because, again, they're preceding the authority with a concern, which is definitely not correct. And then again, we have the uh, apostrophe issue. Now, <clears throat> I was really surprised to see this from this particular individual. Look at this scenario right here. Space colon space. I might as well just outline this whole thing. Basically is saying by this witness claimant of the Jason Hyde from Brian with the Taylor. So there is no authority in this sentence. And we have the ever popular space between the colon and the first letter of the fact. <sighs> Folks, at this point, I really don't know how to take this as a tutor. Been putting videos up for six years and a very large percentage of the videos address this issue right here. And Jason Brian Taylor has been here for a couple years, if not a few years. And it boggles my mind to think that they have not seen those videos. So I will leave it at that. I have shown you the errors. I've told you how to fix them. Now let's move on to the final correction that Jason made. For this claimant's cognition of the correction, Again, we have the same uh, apostrophe issue. Is with the witness of the fear, with the conveyance of the birdie, with the jump, and by the cause. So we have an authority that's not at the end of the sentence. And then we have an of the, which is incorrect positional sequencing, just as by is incorrect positional sequencing in this context. And then the apostrophe issue. But this is better. They're improving which is awesome to see. As far as volition and conveyance goes, this is a marked improvement from the other two sentences that they put out there. So we'll get into this one uh, in detail right now. The cause of the sentence is the claimant's cognition. Right? They, although they still have not put in what, the claim, what they're claiming. There is no claim here. You don't see the word claim anywhere. All right? What I think they're trying to convey is that it's perhaps a witness claim, that they're claiming to witness something, but they have not articulated that. And if you notice, 
in my kuleana in the actual comments field where I write out my, my kuleana, I tried to nudge them in that direction to say, I see the word claimant, but I don't know what you're claiming because you haven't put the word claim in it. So I tried to nudge him in that direction without actually spoon feeding him what, what the, what the problem is. But unfortunately, as far as that goes, they didn't get it. So the cause is the claimant's cognition. What's it concerned with the correction? So they're telling me they're correcting the sentence. Singular verb is. So the possessive is witness. Witness is possessing correction. Hmm. So we're witnessing a correction. What's the witness concerned with? It's concerned with the fear. What is possessing the fear? The conveyance. So the correction, <laughs> being possessed by the witness, is concerned with fear. So the correction is fearful of something. Fearful of conveyance, because the conveyance is possessing the fear. What's the conveyance concerned with? Of the birdie. So the birdie is conveying something. Again, as I said in my written kuleana, one would not make a claim for someone else or something else as that is a presumption assumption. So at this point, just in the other two sentences, it appears as though Jason is making a claim or attempting to make a claim for another living creature, i.e. birdie, which is a trespass. And it is a presumption and assumption. And in quantum grammar, there is no presumption assumption. What is possessing the birdie? The jump. And I guess the authority of the jump is the cause. But that doesn't count because there would be no authority right there. So we'll just ignore that. And what is the jump? And again, and again, and again, folks, real quick. You see this uh, conjunction here. What happens on the port side of the conjunction must happen on the starboard side of the conjunction as it relates to positional, so it would have to be with the jump and with the cause. All right. What is the cause and the jump concerned with? The dog bark. So now we have a dog bark in here. All right. Are we talking about a sound dog bark or are we talking about the bark of a tree? Well, we're talking about dog bark. So do dogs have bark like a tree? See what I'm saying? I'm only bringing that up because if correct sentence structure is one word, one meaning. So keep that in mind, folks. If you ever have to use the word BRK in a correct sentence structure contract, it cannot mean the sound a dog makes and be the surface uh, material of a tree. So the dog bark is concerned with the cause and the jump. And then the authority of the dog bark is the claimant's view. You would only have one thought per sentence, one verb of thinking. This individual is trying to convey a correction as well as a witnessing of something. So this would necessarily have to be two different sentences, a correction claim and a witness claim. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this grammar lesson. I hope Jason can take this to heart and either apply for workshops and really accelerate his learning curve or maybe study consistently every day because I feel like from looking at what they wrote, they don't study every day. They don't do this every day. Until this clicks to the point where you feel as comfortable with this as you would with riding a bicycle. You have to study every day or you're going to be losing it. You're not going to make any improvements. As a matter of fact, you'll probably backslide. I've been saying this for six years, folks. Six freaking years. It's up to you whether you take it to heart or you don't. It's your choice. Either which way, I appreciate you being here. Jason, I appreciate you having the cojones to post these comments 
And uh, I'm not picking on you at all. I know you're a good guy. And I'm just trying to offer you some constructive criticism and knowledge cultivation as well as everyone else on here. Thank you very much. <laughs>